everyone. Thanks for visiting. This is your weekly reading for February the 5th to February the 11th. And yes, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late with this reading. Um, I've been having all sorts of problems, but I'm trying to um, upload this as quickly as I can for you, I promise. And as I always ask nicely, I hope um, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And I've shuffled, everything's ready. So let's start the reading for Capricorn. Um, yes, the first card you have your past is the Ten of Wands, yes. Um, yeah, so you had some people around you and these people were really expecting a lot of you. I'm seeing, you know, a lot of people and they could be people from all different directions, all different parts of your life expecting a lot of things from you. I'm really feeling the weight of their expectations on you actually. So it's like, it's like they're expecting you to be superhuman or something. Um, and you are super, <laughs> you definitely are super, but you're not, you're, you're human as well. And you know, the actual, the actual things that were expected of you were things you actually liked doing. So it wasn't as if, you know, you had a problem with the things you had to do. It was that you had a huge volume of things to do or things that people were expecting you to do. So you just didn't have time to do everything people were expecting you to do. And, you know, you don't have to do what everyone's expecting you to do. And I think you knew that, but it was just that you, you had so much going on. It was clouding your head, it was clouding um, the way that you, your clarity, like you couldn't see which was the most important, which was the least important, which was the right thing, which was wrong, because you just had sheer volumes of things weighing you down, that's what I'm seeing. So yes, the next card you have your past is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, again, I'm just seeing more work. This is to do with work. Um, yes, you have your own unique way of doing things. And um, I'm also seeing Yes, you had you have a very very unique way of doing things and seeing things. You view things in work and in other ways of your life, um, other parts of your life, I should say, in a very different way to the way a lot of other people see things. And I'm just seeing other people. Um, yes, they were trying to pull you off track in some way at this time, or maybe they were trying to interrupt the way you were doing things. But you also had these. Um, you know, you had these really huge volumes of things you had to do, but you were determined to do things your way. So no matter what you were doing, you want to do things your way. And you instinctively knew what you had to do. You knew this by instinct. And when you do things instinctively, or when anyone does things instinctively, um, it's really hard to describe why you're doing these things. Sometimes people say, well, why do you want to do that? You say, well, you can't describe that. You can't tell them why. You just feel inside your heart this is what you need to do and you go and do it. And that's how you're operating. You're operating instinctively. So even if you couldn't articulate why um, you, you wanted to do something, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't owe any, anyone an explanation. Of course you don't. Um, you could feel why, you could feel this inside. You knew inside yourself that this is what you had to do and this is the way you had to do it. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your past is death. So yes, this is in your past, but you definitely have a change around you or coming up for you. So I'm actually seeing this change is coming up in your future when I'm seeing this. Um, yes, maybe this is even um, in the middle of this year coming up or maybe between the middle and the end of the year, there is a big change um, I'm seeing coming up for you. This is a life changing thing. This is a positive thing. Don't be afraid of this. This is okay. Um, you could have known this at this time. Maybe you don't, but I'm seeing that you because I'm seeing you planning for this change, maybe you did know about that. Or maybe you were thinking about um, practical log logistics around this change. Um, I'm not seeing a surprise. It could be a surprise to you, but I'm not seeing that it is. Because I'm seeing planning at this time um, leading up to this change in your future. And um, yes, this change is really, really going to change the course of your life when it comes. It's a positive change. Don't stress. Again, don't stress about this. It has a lot of work attached to it. It has newness attached to it, freshness attached to it, and it has unfamiliarity attached to it as well. So it could be a little bit scary for you, but don't be afraid. It's a big change, yes, definitely, but it's for the best. It's a very positive thing coming up for you. That's what I'm seeing. So at this time, even if you don't realize this is coming up, you are preparing for this in some way, even if you don't realize that's what you're doing. You might be cleaning things, you might be moving things out of the way, you might be preparing your mind. Your mind might be thinking in new ways which lead to this change. It could be something like that. That's what I'm seeing. So yes, the first card you have your present is the Nine of Wands. 
Yeah, so I'm seeing you protecting yourself um, from negativity. You've gone from this huge, big, huge thing in the death card to this little annoying thing in your present, which is what I'm seeing. So yes, there's someone around you who's really negative. You've got negative people around you at this time. And it's like you're trying to tune out these negative words or someone's negative words. And you know, there are some negative people, specifically one person I'm seeing that you have to be around. And I'm seeing, this could be in the workplace because I'm seeing you're around people that you have to be around. These might not be people that you choose to be around. And you're not able to kind of walk off or tell them off or do something terrible um, <laughs> because they they might be your colleagues. You might have to be diplomatic around your colleagues. And um, yeah, I'm seeing you might actually have to sit next to someone who can be negative or, or you know, you have to be around someone uh, who's negative or difficult. And, you know, you just want to get away from this person, but you can't do this for some reason. So it's like, you know, you actually want to put headphones on. I'm seeing a great big pair of those big bears ears beats huge headphones you put on your head that's what you want when you're around this person you want to just block them out you want to put music on and just not hear them but you can't do this you'd love to be able to tune them out but you can't and i'm just seeing um yes i'm just seeing you putting up a mental barrier because that's all you can really do around this person so it's like when they speak to you you're just you're saying mm -hmm, yes right oh okay but you're not actually you're not actually letting it um, into you, which is really good. This is exactly what you should be doing. Um, just ignore this negativity. <laughs> That's what you're doing. So the next card you have your present is the Six of Wands. So yes, this is reflecting the Eight of Pentacles is what I'm seeing because yes, you're right in that you're doing things your way and your way is the right way for you. Um, at this time, I'm seeing you could be being recognized for this in some way. So I am seeing people maybe thanking you, maybe giving you praise for something you're doing. And, you know, you're helping people um, and you were helping people and they're giving you praise for some help that you've given to people. And a lot of this reading is focused on work. I don't mean it to be focused on work. I did not set out for this to be a work focused reading. This is just what I'm seeing. A lot of work related things are coming up. And again, yes, you're on the right path and you know you are and you're getting some recognition for that at this time. Um, the last card you have your present is the High Priestess. So yes, again, following your own instincts, that's what you're doing. And I'm also seeing that, um, yes, for people in a relationship, I'm seeing some ups and downs. Not ups and downs necessarily, but up and down thinking coming from you about your partner or this person you're with. And you know, you're just thinking about, you're thinking about the contrasts in your relationship actually at this time. I hope this makes sense when I say contrasts. It's like you're thinking about, hmm, I'll try and explain. There are a lot of times where um, you weren't sure if this person was actually right for you. There were times when you thought they were, there were times when you thought they weren't. And you know, you're opposites. You're opposites in a lot of ways is what I'm seeing. Opposites can work well together. They can be perfect together. They can fit in perfectly. And you know, I'm seeing neither of you are really unhappy. It's not like you're fighting or crying or anything terrible like that. But you have had some doubts. You've had some doubts about them. So just use your instincts in this situation. This is what the High Priestess is for, using your instincts. Um, and Yes, just try and work out, use your instincts to try and work out why you feel this way about this person. Try and get to the bottom of what, what this uneasy feeling is, what this unsurety is about. So yes, the first card you have your future is the Hierophant. Okay. Right, Um. so I hope this doesn't sound too weird. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm seeing. Don't think I'm weird. I am weird, but just don't think I'm too weird. Um, you're going to be reminded of your heritage. This is what I'm seeing. Or, you know, you're going to be reminded of your ancestors or people who came before you. I'm seeing you being around family. You're going to be talking to some family members. And, you know, you could be hearing stories about relatives. And these might be relatives who have passed on. These were close to you, people who were close to you, but they could have passed on. That's what I'm seeing. This wasn't a sad time. Um, they're just going to be different stories that you'll be hearing. Um, from some family and you know these some of these stories have been told a lot of times because I'm seeing some repetition here I'm seeing that there have been some family stories that you've heard over and over again and but you're also going to be hearing at this time um, some new things some new things you haven't heard before 
And you know, you'll see someone in a new way. This could be a relative that's passed on or even a relative that's here now. You're going to be seeing a lot of things, a lot of family history in a way, in a new way. And this is going to relate to you in some way and the way, the way that you see things in some way, the way you view things in some way, the way that you view, view the world, it's something like that. So again, this won't be a sad or depressing time. So don't be upset about this. This won't be really sad. Um, this will be a, a positive thing. You'll be hearing these really positive stories. And this will be a change. Um, it, it might be a bit of an um, unusual feeling, um, the way you're going to feel. You're going to make some changes and you're going to see the world in a different way is what I'm seeing after you've been hearing these new things. I hope that makes sense to you. The next card you have for your future is the Knight of Cups. So yes, I'm seeing you're going to be learning some new things. You're going to be learning some new things about something. You've already started. You've already started on this thing, but you're going to have to new, um, learn some new things about this. So this is going, definitely going to be t a time of growth for you in your future, definitely. Um, you've been through some times where you've really doubted yourself and you've doubted your abilities. And this is just a confidence thing. Um, but now at this time in your future you're really really clearly going to see that you had no reason to doubt yourself and you didn't have any reason to doubt yourself it could have been these people in the eight of pentacles trying to put you off track um, that made you doubt yourself or it could just be have been inside yourself um, but i'm also seeing that um yes i'm seeing at this time you could be meeting with a friend meeting up with a friend um this is a close friend but I'm seeing you talk about talking about growth. Again, there's more growth here, growing things or building things together. It's something like that. Or, you know, something, you could be doing a project together or working on something together, something work-related. Again, I'm seeing work again. Um, but I'm feeling really comfortable when I look at this card. So, you know, you just click with this person. It's like, you know, when you're with them, it's like you're in an oasis and you're away from... Um, the rest of the world. It's like you can escape the world when you're with this person. It's a really, really nice, comfortable feeling. So if you are going to work with this person, this is fantastic. This will be fantastic for you. Um, the last card you have for your future is the Knight of Swords. So yes, I'm seeing more work-related things here. I'm sorry, that's just what I keep on seeing. Um, yes, there are so many work-related things going on in this reading. It just keeps on happening over and over again. I keep seeing these things. Um, yes, but at this time, you could be negotiating something. Some sort of contract, something like that I'm seeing. Um, and someone who you're dealing with is going to be a bit forceful and a bit difficult even. And this will be a bit stressful for you. I've got to say, this will be a bit of a stressful time for you. But you'll also be quite strong at this time. And... Um, Yes, you'll be using your words. I'm seeing you using your words. So it's like you'll outwit someone with your words. Someone might try and force something in a contract or try and get their way about something. And you're going to use your words and it's going to come out quite positively for you in the end. That's what I'm seeing. You're quite smart. And yes, so Capricorn, I hope this resonated. Um, the general readings can't always resonate with every single person in the whole world, of course. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment. And I'd really appreciate that if you would. And thank you so much for watching.